In this video, we learn that uh, how we can calculate the geometric mean. Uh, usually, in investment problem, uh, as uh, uh, we first calculate return, and most of the cases uh, there is a growth in the return, so geometric mean is preferable. So first, we calculate uh, uh, return. Now, ret how we can calculate return? Uh, return can be calculated with the help of this formula means. Ending investment minus beginning investment divided by beginning investment. Now, for example, uh, we have uh, 10 and then this is our beginning investment and then ending investment. So 12 minus 10 divided by 10. So it is it means that 2 divided by 10. So rate of return is 0.2 or 20%. Uh, simply, uh, it can be calculated like uh, ending divided by beginning minus 1. Now to calculate uh, a geometric mean, as if we have negative returns, then we can't calculate uh, geometric mean because it is nth root of product of values. Uh, so we usually add uh, in the rate of return, like uh, x, x is the rate of return, and we have added one, and then its product term, and then we take its nth root or its power 1 by n, and as we have added one, then at the end we subtract one so that we can get our uh, geometric mean. Uh, it is not pi, it is basically geometric mean. Now here is the example. So first we calculate rate of return means beginning uh, minus sorry ending minus beginning divided beginning or we can use ending divided beginning minus one we will get the same answer so ending divided by beginning minus one so it is rate of return and now we have negative return now in case uh, we can't apply uh, this uh, simple formula of geometric one uh, geometric mean that i have explained in my uh, previous uh, video lecture so we add one it is say let's say x now we calculate x plus 1 so here this one plus 1 now 1.51 now after that after adding one uh, we then, here pi means product. We just calculated product by multiplying these two figures, or we can uh, use product function if we are doing analysis in Excel. And you, because most of the time you will have to do uh, the calculations manually, just multiply these two. So here it is uh, almost one. Now, uh, by applying this formula, uh, now it is basically, uh, this is basically product of, and then we take uh, its power 1 by n. So its power 1 by n here, 1 as we have uh, uh, two values, two returns. And then after calculating uh, this one means product of x plus one is power then we subtract uh, minus one so one minus one so rate of return is zero and you can observe from this investment that uh, uh, in fact uh, there is uh, no change in the invested amount because in the beginning it was one at the end it is one it means that we have no rate of return. So geometric mean will give us the true picture. Uh, now, if we calculate its uh, arithmetic means that, you know, you know that what is the formula for arithmetic means is simply summation x by n. So in, in this case, just add this. And number of observation, you can see that we have two number of returns. So uh, geometric mean will give us that rate of return per name per annum is 0 0.0833%. In fact, there is no return because our investment starts from one from two years ago and the end of year one is at uh, the end of year two is it's also one million. So uh, there should be no return and geometric mean will give us the uh, true picture.
Now this is about geometric mean. And now, for example, if we have the data and uh, we can calculate uh, different uh, Excel function. I'm just explaining here. We have like, let's say this data. Uh, we, we can take very simple data. Let's say we have one, two, two, one, and then three, uh, let's say four. Now we have this data. Now we are interested to calculate uh, uh, different measures with the help of Excel. Uh, so here for mean, we can use average function. And then just lock it. Now average is basically now just uh, copy it. For example, this is our average. Now for median, just change this average by using median. Now this is our median. And for more, for example, Now change this average into mode. Now here we have a different mode like single mode or multi mode. Now, for example, we want to use uh, this uh, single mode and mode. Let's say here one. Although we have mode two as well, uh, so we can use a uh, uh, multi mode option as well. Mode here multi, and then. Select the range. And here we have two mode one and two. Uh, now for let's say harmonic mean. We use HAR harmonic mean. And then for geometric mean, we have this one for geometric mean. There is a restriction that number should be positive. Otherwise you will get uh, no answer. Similarly, uh, you can uh, use uh, different uh, uh, quantiles, like you can use percentile function to get uh, the 50th percentile and so on. Uh, for range, uh, for mid range, uh, we can you can calculate uh, maximum function, maximum of is minus minimum of the range. And then it is divided by two. It will give you uh, uh, mid range. Here is some mistake. I am again trying this formula. First, calculate max, maximum, then minus minimum. And now divide it by two. So it will give you a uh, mid range. Now we have the option in Excel and in other software, the descriptive statistic. Now just go to the data. And here from data analysis, use the option of descriptive statistic, this one. Now, just select the range and then here some statistic and then let's say our output range you want to get here let's say in g to z and then okay so here just we need let's say mean value no you can check that this is your mean value then median value uh, then mode uh, because we are interested in just uh, measure of central tendency and we have the range and the difference of this range uh, is uh, for maximum and minimum that is three and it is divided by two and we can get this value. Uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this video. Uh, in my uh, next video or in another video, I will explain that uh, how we can get this descriptive statistic uh, uh, in let's say e views or in SPSS or uh, in Python. Thank you very much.